I feel like the only way you can conclude that the evidence points to there being a God more so than it points to there not being a God is because you're already presupposing that there is a God. Well, I guess C.S. Lewis and countless other atheists who turn theist would disagree with you here. But let's leave that aside for a moment because I'm baffled by the fact that you introduce your talk about evidence by saying how you feel like. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. Now, did you know that this emotion-based assertion of yours could just as well be used against you? I mean, why don't you feel like the only way you could conclude that the evidence points to there not being a God more so than to there being a God is because you're already presupposing that there is no God. But anyway, let's move on. Religion is a man-made concept and it has been used since the beginning of humanity to describe what we don't understand about our reality. Yes, religion is a system of thought that is man-made. But so what? Even science, which you believe in with such religious fervor as we're about to see, is man-made. Are you trying to say that what is man-made is illegitimate? What would that mean for your own TikTok video, which is, well, man-made? <laughs> And since the formation of religion, we have made many developments in science, in research, in learning about our world. And we can now explain things that religion once tried to explain, but didn't do so accurately or successfully. Oh, you mean the fact, for example, that Christianity has always claimed that our universe had a beginning, which science used to deny up until 60 years ago and then came to affirm? And how does your idea of science supposedly digging religion's grave fit, for example, with the fact that the very person who initially came up with the scientific method, Francis Bacon, was himself a Christian? And how much more will we learn through science and research over the next 10 years, 50 years, 100 years, 1,000 years? if humanity lasts that long. I don't know how much it will be, but it will be a lot, I suppose. So? Oh, I get it. I guess you think all this stuff will supposedly provide evidence for there not being a God. Or no, let me be more accurate. You feel like this stuff will provide evidence against God. Well, it seems to me that you are more religious than you'd like to think, because you're exercising faith that the future of science will confirm your atheistic presuppositions. Or the irony of you moving on to say, I think it's easy to see God when you're already presupposing that God exists. And I think it's at least as easy to not see God when you're already presupposing that he doesn't exist. But if you come to it without that presupposition, you're going to have more questions than conclusions. And I think that's the whole point. 100%. Are you talking about the fact that you should stop coming to science with your own atheistic presuppositions? Yes, I agree. That's the whole point indeed.